Bill English. Mr Speaker, in the next few days, the Labor Party have to come clean about every contact with Mr Dong Wa Lu and every donation from him. Because if they don't come clean, they may be unable to save their leader. That's where it's got to, Mr Speaker. And the reason the, reason the Labor Party have to explain all those contacts and donations is because no one trusts what David Cunliffe says about the donations and the contacts with Mr Dong Wa Lu, Mr Speaker. It's not as if this House hasn't had the opportunity for every member to understand uh, that Mr Lu has been active in the political scene as partly as a result of declarations of donations from Mr Lu, Morris Williamson stepped down from his job. So it's not as if no one knew that Mr Lu wasn't about. There does appear to be one person who either didn't know or didn't care, and that's David Cunliffe, the leader of the Labour Party. And the reason no one trusts him is this. Do you recall ever meeting Mr Lou? I don't recall ever meeting him, no. Did you have anything to do with granting his permanent residency? No, I did not. Did you advocate on his behalf at all? No. Were you aware of any advice against granting him permanent residency? Not to my recollection. And that was yesterday. And today, of course, we have the letter that he wrote advocating exactly for his permanent residency. Now, any MP... The question is this. Any Member of Parliament can say I don't remember writing a letter some time ago on behalf of a constituent. The problem is, when David Cunliffe says that, who will believe him? You can't believe him. This is the man who set up his own personal trust as part of his leadership campaign precisely to hide donations. Precisely. And when asked to reveal those donations, as his leadership rival Grant Robertson did, he still won't reveal those donations. So how do we know one of the donors is not Mr Dong Wa Liu? How do we know? We don't know. So, Mr Speaker, Doc, Mr Cunliffe has a very simple problem. If anyone, if anyone trusted him before, and who knows how many of those there were, will anyone trust him now? And I'm not talking about the public, I'm not talking about the government, I'm not talking about the media, I'm talking about his own caucus. So as the champagne is popped in Grant Robertson's office today, and David Parker wanders off on his intellectual journey across the Sahara, trying to find something that might mean something to being in future government, does the rest of the caucus trust what David Cunliffe says? And you can tell that by looking at them. You can tell that by looking at them. So, Mr Speaker, the government's made up its mind. The public's made up their mind. The media have made up their mind. There's only one question left. When will the Labor Party caucus make up their mind? Order. 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 Sue Moroni. Oh, thank you, Mr Speaker. And uh, wasn't that very interesting? That